The good news is you're in charge. They may seem bigger, stronger, more powerful, but you determine what stays in your mind. You need to tell fear you're evicted. You're not welcome here anymore. I'm not living afraid of what might happen. My future is in God's hands. Nothing can stand against him. You need to tell worry you've been with me long enough. Sorry, you've lost your lease. Tell doubt your time is up. Got some new rules. You have to go. Tell insecurity. Sorry, no more place for you. You're out of here. See you. I'm not going to be you. All that negative that's weighing you down, limiting your future. Why don't you serve some eviction notices? Keep your mind positive, hopeful, full of faith, expecting good things, believing to overcome, trusting God to do what only he can do. Here's what I've learned. When your mind is filled with the positive, there's no room for the negative. When you're full of faith, praise, gratitude, believing for the best, when the negative comes, you don't even answer the door. You don't pay it any attention. Fear knocks, but there's a no vacancy sign. Can't they hear me? No, this mind is full of faith. Complaining knocks, discouragement, sorry, no vacancy. This mind is full of praise. Father, thank you for what you've done. Thank you for fighting my battles. Thank you for surrounding me with your favor. When worry comes, what about these gas prices? Did you see the news, inflation, recession? Sorry, no vacancy. Father, thank you that you're Jehovah Jireh, the Lord my provider. The economy is not my source. God, you're my source. I know I'm connected to a supply line that will never run dry. This is not just being positive. This is releasing your faith. This is what allows God to do awesome things. When your mind is stayed on him, you're going to have peace in the middle of a pandemic, favor in the famine, strength in the storm, going up when you should be going down.